Hello guys welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how to upgrade Mac OS High Sierra to Mac OS Catalina on a 2010 MacBook that is no longer supported by Apple. As you know, the 2010 MacBook can officially only install Mac OS High Sierra optimally. So when we check through software update we won't find the latest version of Mac OS. So follow this video step by step from the beginning of the video to the end of the video so that no errors occur during installation. So let's start this installation video tutorial. First open your favorite browser and go to google.com. In the Google search box type Mac OS Catalina unsupported Mac. On the search results page, click the Mac OS Catalina patcher link. On this website page you can read about Mac OS Catalina patcher in detail. You can find information about Mac devices that can install Mac OS Catalina and Mac devices that cannot install Mac OS Catalina. To download Mac OS Catalina patcher click download latest version. Wait until the download process is complete. Once the download process is complete, click the show in finder icon. Now double click Mac OS Catalina Patcher DMG to mount the file. Once mounted, drag Mac OS Catalina Patcher to the desktop. Then close all finder windows and also unmount the Mac OS Catalina patcher volume. Now open Disk Utility by clicking Launchpad and then clicking Other. To display the disks in detail click View at the top left, then Show All Devices. To partition a disk click on the disk in the left panel. Then click partition in the right panel, in the pop-up window that show up click the partition button. Now click the plus button below the circle. In the size column, type 12 then press enter. In the format column, select Mac OS extended journaled. And in the name column, just type Catalina or another name. Then click the apply button. In the pop-up window that show up click the partition button. In the next pop-up window click the continue button. Wait until the disk partition process is complete. As you can see, the disk partition process failed. So we need to repeat the disk partitioning process again. Now click the done button to close the pop-up window. Click disk again in the left pane. Then click the partition button in the right pane. Now look at the circle and click on the white area. Then go to the format column and select Mac OS extended journaled. Then click the apply button. In the pop-up window that show up click the partition button. As you can see this time the disk partition process has been successful. Now click the done button to close the pop-up window. Then close the disk utility window. Now we need to show the disk drive icon on the desktop. For that, open Finder. Then click the Finder menu and click Preferences. When the Preferences window for Finder opens up, 
check the box for hard disks under the show these items on the desktop. Then close the finder preferences window and finder window. As you can see on the desktop there is now an icon for the disk drive. Now run Mac OS Catalina Patcher by right clicking Mac OS Catalina Patcher and clicking open. The Mac OS Catalina Patcher verification process is running and wait until the process is complete. Now click the open button to open Mac OS Catalina Patcher. Once the Mac OS Catalina Patcher main window opens click the continue button. In this window you can see the contributors of this project. Click the continue button to proceed to the next step. In this window you have two options. Select the browse a copy option if you have downloaded Mac OS Catalina. And select download a copy if you haven't downloaded Mac OS Catalina. Since I hadn't downloaded Mac OS Catalina, I selected download a copy. Now click on the start download button to start downloading Mac OS Catalina. Now the Mac OS Catalina download process is running, and wait until the Mac OS Catalina download process is complete. Mac OS Catalina download process is complete. Now in the installation method window there are three options on how to install a copy of Mac OS Catalina onto our system. Since I will be installing Mac OS Catalina using the bootable installer, I selected the create bootable installer option. Now we need to select the volume that will be used as the installer. Because I will use the Catalina volume as the installer, so I chose the Catalina volume. Then click the start button. In the pop-up warning window that show up, click the yes button. Then type your Mac admin password. Then click the ok button. The process of creating a Mac OS Catalina bootable installer is already running and wait for it to finish. The bootable Mac OS Catalina installer volume has been successfully created. Then click the quit button. Now we open the Catalina volume that we made bootable earlier. As you can see, the Catalina volume already contains bootable Mac OS Catalina. Now restart the MacBook to boot the Mac OS Catalina bootable volume. Once the screen turns gray, press and hold the option key until the boot options appear. Don't forget to navigate to the Catalina volume then press enter. Wait until the loading process is complete and enter Mac OS utilities. Now we have entered Mac OS Utilities. Because I want to upgrade Mac OS High Sierra to Mac OS Catalina without deleting data, for that I select Reinstall Mac OS. Then click the Continue button. To continue the Mac OS Catalina installation process, click the Continue button. In this window you can read the terms of the software license agreement. After reading and agreeing, click the agree button. In the pop-up window that show up, click the agree button again. 
Now select the disk to install Mac OS Catalina. Then click the install button. The Mac OS Catalina installation process is in progress and wait until the Mac OS Catalina installation process is complete. Installation of Mac OS Catalina on MacBook 2010 is complete and successful. Next Mac OS Catalina will offer to make some additional and personal settings. Just follow the provided guide to make some additional and personal settings. Once finished with some additional and personal settings we will enter Mac OS Catalina Desktop. As you can see there is a new update for Night Shift Patch. To update the Night Shift Patch, click the Install One Item button. In the pop-up window that show up, enter your Mac Admin Password. Then click the OK button. Wait until the installation process is complete. In the pop-up window that show up click the Restart Later button. The final step for this upgrade method is to delete the partition or volume used to create bootable Mac OS Catalina. So we will delete the Catalina partition or volume. To do that, open Disk Utility. Once Disk Utility opens, Click on the disk in the left pane. Then click the partition button in the right pane. Now look at the circle and click on the white area. Then click the minus button below the circle. Then click the apply button. In the pop-up window that show up click the partition button. Wait until the disk partition process is complete. The disk partition process is complete then click the done button. Then close the disk utility window. That's how to upgrade Mac OS High Sierra to Mac OS Catalina on a 2010 MacBook that is no longer supported by Apple. If this video is useful don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.